often I dreamt of a blue box flying through space, its occupant carrying seven faces, seven personalities and seven lives. Although at first I didn't know the true meaning of these visions, I knew that these were somehow linked to alien life forms that only fought to conquer. Like Daleks led by the creator Davros, Cybermen, Zygons and Autons. They all had their fair share of attempting to conquer planets, the main being Earth where I live. It's been a couple of weeks since these dreams commence, all of which are trying to tell me something. First, there was the man with many faces, and then the alien beings that live only to conquer. My latest dream was about the car being involved in all this madness. One minute, it all seemed normal, but that changed when I got inside. I watched the numbers on the gear control change to TARDIS. TARDIS? What this means I do not know. What the? Hello? Yes? The garage is on fire. I don't know how the car is, but the car's in there. Uh, five kilos late. Boston. Okay, right. Investigation into the events that took place in the garage came to an impossible conclusion. Whoever took my car and started the fire managed to do so without tampering the locked garage doors. No fingerprints or evidence of breaking an entry were found. It was whilst I was clearing away the debris from the fire that answers started to arise. I couldn't believe it. A Dalek appeared before me and fired a laser in the direction where the fire was, then disappeared again, as did the fire. Then a sound familiar to what I heard in my dreams came. Right before my eyes, my car appeared as if by magic. I couldn't believe it. I approached the car and touched 
only to retrieve my hand from the vibrations that came from the car. I touched again, realising the car was humming as though it was alive. The suspense took me. I had to open to see if any more of my visions were a reality. I unlocked the car, opened the door and stepped inside. Someone else who has found they've got a TARDIS. Let's get in here for the prof. Professor Webb speaking. Right, fine. Could you send him through when he arrives? Thanks. tell you something that may shock you. Shock me? How do you think I feel after travelling what I thought was my car? Sorry, go on. You were saying... Time Lords came to Earth to hide from enemies during a war on their home planet, Gallifrey. Whilst on Earth, they have to take nourishment tablets to make up the diet they would have on their planet. Also, they take treatment for their lungs to adapt them to the atmosphere. When they started to run short of these treatments, they came up with cystic fibrosis as a hereditary disease, appearing in early childhood, marked by an overproductive mucus and fibrous tissue, with consequent breathing and digestive difficulties. In 1964, one Time Lord, known as the Doctor, turned to UNIT for help to raise funds for appliances for their needs. Then what do you want? Laboratory, equipment, help from Miss Shaw here? Very well, anything you need. Within reason, of course. I must arrange for a full set of papers. Getting on all right? Fine, just fine. Sorry about the makeshift conditions here, but we had to set this lab up for you in rather a hurry. Fine, fine. That's when the CF research rush came into practice. Oh, right. I suppose now I am to travel to Gallifrey to be taught further about who I am. Okay. Phase one of plan, power now. 